Uh, this question uh, something that is part of what is uh, we face nowadays with uh, the social media and the internet and things of that nature. And the question specifically, we've seen a video on the internet and the content of the video is permissible, but the person that is in the video, in the, in the video might be committing haram, like as the example mentioned, a woman not wearing hijab. So a Muslim woman can, or a, a woman can watch that woman without hijab and it's not haram for she's not committing haram if she's looking at a woman without hijab. But the question was, uh, or as mentioned, that you're witnessing someone committing a sin. Right, so this is something that should be avoided. This is a good point. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us in the Quran, or He mentioned the characteristics, or one of the characteristics of the believers, الزور, those who do not witness a zur or falsehood. They do not witness it. So if someone is committing a sin, and you're watching that person committing a sin, even though that you are not committing the sin, this is something that we should stay away from so that we don't fall into the category of those who are watching the sins or watching falsehood. And there's a, another danger to this. As Sheikh Sam Tamiya said and others, if you, if you get used to listen to falsehood, right, uh, even though that you think that you're secured from it, you know that this is wrong, but you're listening to some talk that is wrong and falsehood, the more you listen to it, the more that it can penetrate your heart and it can change your heart. So the same thing when you see a sinful act, right? this can corrupt our hearts. So we have to protect our hearts from seeing things that are sinful. But a person would say, well, we're walking in the streets and there are people might be not wearing hijab and things of that nature. Well, you're walking in the street. And if, you are a pleasant, if you're present in a place where you see someone committing a sin, right, right there when you're sitting in the same gathering, either you forbid the evil with advising or if you're not able to, then you have to leave the place where the sins are being committed. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us.